Hey boys, Razine here, and in today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to set the equatorial home position on your EQ mount. Now, the equatorial home position is a really important uh, position to set your mount to because everything kind of stems off from there. If you have a good equatorial home position, then your go to function is going to be more accurate. It's going to be easier to use your finder scope to find targets, and your plate solving, even your plate solving, is going to be faster. So, it's really crucial to know and to get right. So, I'm going to cut back to a video from Ruz from last year in the shed explains to you how to set the equatorial home position on in this example an EQ6R Pro but it will be applied for any EQ mount so over to Raz ah, that's a bit out so in the shed with the EQ6R Pro it takes up most of the floor plan in here <laughs> but I'm about to show you how to set the equatorial home position not only on the EQ6R Pro but on equatorial mounts in general and to do that, we're going to use the setting circles and um, as well as a spirit level. Oh, sorry, I forgot my water. The equatorial home position is basically that iconic figure that you see where the counterweights are pointing down and everything's flat and level pointing straight to the pole. So as you can see, this is clearly in the home position, right? The, the right ascension clutch isn't even done up properly. The declination axis, don't know where that's pointing. So we need to get this accurately to the home position. And we're going to start off with the right ascension axis. Make sure you haven't got your counterweight on it. And get, where do I keep putting this? Get your spirit level. And we're about to start this right now with the right ascension axis. Right, so with the right ascension axis undone, we need to move this until it's horizontal. And then as it's getting to horizontal, get your spirit level onto the counterweight bar. And you need to move it in right ascension until the spirit level reads level. You can do this next step using the hand controller if you want to move the mount, but what we're going to do is going to move the telescope mount in right ascension after setting the set circle. So, Alright, so on the EQ6R Pro the right ascension setting circle is on the left hand side, well that's the mark for it, and the right ascension setting circle itself is a 24 hour clock. It's actually 23 hours and 56 minutes or something like that, but I'm being facetious. We want to move the mount a quarter turn in right ascension and a quarter of 24 is 6. So what we want to do is use the setting scale and I'm going to position 6 o'clock onto the marker there. And then using little screws, just screw that down so that way now when we move the mount in right ascension it's going to move the setting circle with it and when we move that we're going to see the clock move and this way we can accurately judge it So as we move it until midnight is selected there on the right ascension axis on this selector then tighten the clutch up so what you're going to see now when you look at it from the front is that the counterweight bar is directly down and the right ascension axis has now been correctly set onto the declination axis okay with declination similar principles apply we're going to use the trusty spirit level and the setting circle again and the nice thing about this is actually I've just noticed I can fit the spirit level into the puck and tighten up like it was a vixen. The more you know. Okay, I'm sure you can guess what's about to happen. We undo the declination clutch and now we want to turn the mount in declination until we see the same thing. And again, once it is set in the middle, just tighten that clutch up. You may notice sometimes the declination will move when you tighten the clutch up. So just keep an eye on that. So this is now the declination axis set level to the ground. Similar to how we did it with the right ascension axis. And we're going to go around to the setting circle now as well and do something very similar also. In a similar vein to how the right ascension axis is a 24 hour clock, the declination axis is in fact a 90 degree scale. It goes from 90 degrees round to zero back up to 90 degrees again. 90 degrees being a quarter of a turn of a full circle what we want to do is set the scale to 90 and then once again we want to undo the declination clutch and you could use the hand control and move this slowly in declination or I'm just going to do it by hand you want to move it until now we're at zero and then lock the declination clutch with the declination axis at zero degrees like this the mount is now completely in the equatorial home position the counterweight bar is riding right down 
and when you put a tube on it, the declination is pointing straight to the celestial pole. And that's how you set a German equatorial mount to the equatorial home position. This is that position I was on about. Counterweight bar directly down, and the saddle is pointing straight to the pole. Some things you could do from here is you could put a little marker on the axis, both axes, and that way, no matter what happens, if you have to undo the clutch, you can always get back home. I'm getting out of this shit, it's cold.